Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video, Nasher will see how to create Express Route Circuit from the portal. So let's get started. Let's highlight Express Route Circuit. Click on Add. Start by giving the name. You need to pick a provider, so make sure that uh, this service is available in your area. I know that uh, Bell Canada provides that, so I'm going to pick Bell as my provider. For your peering location, you generally pick a location which is closer to you geographically. I'm in Toronto, so I'm going to pick a Toronto region. For bandwidth, you can pick from 50 Mbps all the way to 10 gigabit per second. For this demonstration, I'll pick 100 Mbps. And then you have to pick from standard and premium SQ. The difference between the two is that if you have more than 10 virtual network, then you need to go with the premium. And also, if you want to have uh, more than 4,000 route within the route table created, you can go with the premium. But anything less than that, standard will do the job for you. So I'm going to pick standard. And also for the billing model, for the premium, uh, the egress is unlimited. So there is no... A limit for pulling the data out in the in the premium version, which is metered and unlimited, right? So if I pick say premium, and if I go with metered, so there will be a specific charge. If I go with unlimited, there is no charge, or actually there is a unlimited data I can pull out from the uh, Microsoft infrastructure. So that's the difference between the two, and you can go through the Microsoft documentation to further look into what are the differences and what is the pricing between the two. You pick your subscription. You need to deploy this in a resource group and pick your location and click on the Create button. Deployment was successful. So you can see my circuit has appeared. So let me just go inside this. And you can see that the circuit status is enabled, but the provision provider status is not provisioned. The reason being that there is a service key which is generated and you need to share this service key with your provider, which is Bell in this case. And once they plug the service key in their system, this provider status will change to provision. So that's an important step that you need to do. What I'm not gonna do right now, but let's explore some of the other options. So if I go under the settings, I have the configuration tab. And as I showed you that we used 100 Mbps bandwidth, but in case you want to move it up and down, so you think that 100 Mbps is not doing the job for you, you want to move it to say 500, you can just move this and click on the save button. And also you can change the SQ from standard to premium. So all those things are flexible over here. And uh, you can further look into the peering, the connections. So all those things needs to be done, uh, but uh, that will be done once you share the service key with your provider and the provider status has changed to provision. So in this video, we saw how to deploy Express Route circuit within the portal. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.